We are getting our first look today at dramatic video showing an attack on Christians at Cairo's biggest church. It appears to show, watch this, police officers standing by as several attackers launch a deadly assault on worshipers attending a memorial service at a Coptic Christian cathedral. In a different video of the same incident, watch, you can see a man in a green shirt as he carries out an attack and then runs for cover behind one of the police officers. In another shot, a police officer can be seen actually helping a gunman in a yellow shirt as he prepares to take aim at a courtyard full of mourners. When it was done, at least one person was dead, more than 80 others hurt. Alicia Ludwig is the editor of Mideast Christian News Agency. She first obtained this video. And Bridget Gabriel is the president of Act for America and the author of They Must Be Stopped. Thank you both so much, Alicia. There had been controversy about what actually happened at this mosque. And now the video mm -hmm. appears to show the police helping or at least standing by as these attacks unfolded. Can you give us some color on this? Well, first, thank you for having me, Megan. Yeah, the controversy came about because when it occurred, there wasn't much video on the ground. And afterwards, the Interior Ministry actually tried to blame the Coptic protesters that they said were there, were actually attending the funeral, and said that they attacked the central security forces first. However, what you see from the video is you have unidentified men throwing stones, throwing Molotov cocktails, actually firing at the, at the crowd within the precincts of the cathedral. And additionally, you have the security forces standing by and doing absolutely nothing, except at one point and then another, to fire tear gas into the cathedral where there are mourners. And they do this, Alicia, if I'm not mistaken, with impunity. The, the police, there have been reports uh, for a long time mm -hmm. now, even preceding Morsi uh, under Hosni mm -hmm. Mubarak, but they seem to have gotten worse since Morsi about the cops not helping if the victims in these crimes are Christians and saying, look, if you complain, you're only going to get it worse. So you got to basically take it if you're Christian. Definitely. There has been such a lack of protection for Christian buildings and Christian owned businesses throughout Egypt. The sectarian incidents and violence against Christians has definitely increased since even the revolution. And afterwards, what happens is they have what they call reconciliation meetings, which are held with religious leaders and local police forces, which do nothing but end up blaming the victims, who are usually Christian, for what occurred and giving whoever is attacking the Christians whatever they wanted. They always get their way at the end of the day. Bridget, there are real concerns that some of these Christians are going to wind up leaving Egypt. Uh, and that's been an important group for America to have there. And that we're going to see even more of, of a potential theocracy emerge in a government that was supposed to be secular. There's never supposed to be a Muslim Brotherhood president, but now we have one. Mm -hmm. And it seems like things mm -hmm. are getting worse by the day for Christians. Mm -hmm. uh, they That's are getting Bridget. worse by the day all throughout the Middle East, uh, and not only in Egypt, but look what happened in Iraq after we basically liberated Iraq from Saddam Hussein. Over half a million Christians left Iraq. We're going to see the same exodus happening in Egypt right now, and they're trying. We're seeing the same thing happen in Syria. The Christian churches right now are being attacked in Syria, and this is why the Christians want Assad to stay in power. And, and to think that we are helping these governments come to power, uh, like uh, the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt or the new government in Iraq and we are allowing this to continue happening to the Christians it's an outrage under our watch it was never supposed to happen this way Bridget we were told it was going to be all different after the Arab Spring as it turns out not so much not so much it's a lie. Uh, things are happening, are getting worse because the Islamists are feeling empowered. They are telling the Christians this is now an Islamic nation. You need to get out of here. Uh, we are seeing the signs uh, and the quotes all over the Islamic world. Uh, first comes Saturday, then comes Sunday. They're trying to expel the Christians and threatening them with death. Wow. Panel, thank you both so much. We appreciate it.